Hi, I'm Jason for ATG Stores, and today I'm going to talk to you about installing under cabinet lighting. Under cabinet lights perform two main functions, task lighting and ambiance, helping you create a more functional and at times practical environment for your kitchen. When designing an under cabinet lighting system, you're going to need to choose between three basic styles of light fixtures. The first is a puck or a button light, which are circular and used as more of a spotlight. Light bars are linear and range from three to five inches wide, or there's also strip or tape lights, which are a narrow version of a light bar. For this job, I'm going to use tape lights, specifically WAC lighting's Invisa LED system, and here's why. The tape light is flexible and it can usually be cut to length, making on-site installation a breeze. We won't also have to worry about lights burning out either, as LED fixtures are rated to last upwards of 50,000 hours. Most of all, with this product, the installation is simple. Once we decide on a light, it's time to map out the rest of the system components and assemble our bill of materials. Controls. We need to decide whether to hardwire or plug in. For this installation, we are going to use a plug in for the ease of installation. You should also determine at this point if you want or need extra controls for dimming. This LED system requires an electronic low voltage dimmer. You will need to determine if your light comes with all of the connectors necessary to install and buy any extra cables or splitters that are not already included with the product. For mounting, we need to be sure to add any extra mounting accessories that you need that are also not included with the light. Here are the tools that we are using to complete this installation. We now have our layout and our components, so it's time to start the install. Begin by marking and drilling any necessary holes in your cabinets to run the connectors. Next, place your controls in a concealed location. Start joining the connectors together and feeding them through the drilled holes. Measure and mark where the lights are to be installed. Typically, this is towards the front of the cabinet. Hook up the connectors to the lights and mount the lights. Finally, apply any additional mounts and hide excess wiring. As always, you should check with your specification sheet or installation guide to be sure that you've configured your system correctly. I told you it was simple, and as you can see, the outcome can really transform a space. You can now chop your vegetables in safety and set the mood for date night. For all of your home improvement needs, visit ATGStores.com.